when you're in debate, you or any politician, I, I, I'm watching it. How do you keep it together? I mean, there's fire. Sometimes you there's can't. There's passion. <laughs> I, you know, and, and I watch. I, and I don't. I don't know if you, you guys, Hamilton City. I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm losing it just watching you, and, and it's yeah. too much. And then I'm like, would you be quiet and let her speak? Would you? How do you keep it together and not just completely? lose it when you're well that's really funny in fact yeah. sometimes I, f I finish in question period and i yeah. go I, and i say to my team did i lose my mind there yeah. <laughs> did yeah. i just lose my mind yeah. and they they know no you're great we love it yeah. we love it when you're tough um you, you know what you have you always try to be respectful you really try to be respectful but there are times when you know for me when i think about you know what's happening in my own community what's happening here in Hamilton what some of the impacts are on people of the decisions that the government's making or their lack of what feels like their lack of insight into yeah. what people are feeling and that's when my passion goes and um, you know there's a um, you have to be careful about the language you use sure. for sure for certain because you don't want the speaker calling you uh, you know calling you out and, and yeah. ejecting you from the legislature for using unparliamentary language uh, but certainly I, I mean I think that people overall want to see respectful debate and dialogue but I think they also need to know mm -hmm. that their their elected representatives are passionate about their concerns and, and about mm -hmm. what what they do and and so it's a it's a balancing act for sure